Well, I just thought I'd share something funny here. Uh, <clears throat> well, first of all, um, these animations are really starting to please me uh, with the, um, the whole like uh, procedural animations for the characters. However, I ran into a little issue here. I started permutating every possible frame, right? We've got 21 different body pieces that a uh, character has, right? There's like, you know, your upper arm, lower arm, uh, chest, hips, legs, head, back, uh, cloak, pieces. There's lots of different pieces of the body we've got here. Co then permutating them all with all their different options. Um, turns out there's 300,000 files it generated for just one animation. So we're looking at just player idle A which is this animation. No, this is the run animation I'm working on. But anyways, Player Idle A from Blender exported back into Magic of Voxel, back into the game engine. 300,000 files for just one animation. And, uh, and we're talking that the whole folder went to five gigabytes. So that's five gigabytes worth of animations for for a very small set of options at this point, too. We've got like uh, we've got 21 different pieces of the body, but for each piece of the body, I've really only generated one, two, or three, up to maybe five or six different pieces for some of these, but most of them only have one option. 300,000 different permutations. It's crazy. So obviously this is untenable, and I'm going to have to come up with something else. Probably have to do it at runtime, where... Um, before you go jump into a match or before you create a character and stuff like that it'll it'll basically compile all the animations for a character based on whatever options they you know every every piece of their body the uh, the option that's selected for that piece will get um, considered and just compiled at runtime I'm thinking um, because there's really no way I can possibly optimize this uh, uh, enough. I mean, I could put this into a, I mean, this is just like slowed down my build time. Like I, I, it, to R sync all these files takes like two or three minutes just to put these into the assets folder basically. Um, and then also to actually run this all, this whole permutation, right. To go and compile this and run it. Um, here's just for one file. It's like do, 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 do run. There's one, but imagine doing that 300,000 times. That took, um, I timed it last night, it took 38 minutes for it to compile to co all those permutations. Um, and then and then I optimized it. I'm like, eh, maybe I'll just optimize it a little bit. I found some, some pretty significant optimizations to make. Still took 15 minutes for those 300,000 files and still five gigabytes. So once again, not tenable. And uh, I'll have to, to kind of think of a different way to do this. I wanted to do this whole uh, compiling it um, at um, compiling all these models at compile time instead of runtime because that just makes the load time of the game faster. But it looks like I'll just have to make um, make do and do this at runtime. So just thought I'd share. Thanks for watching.